Welcome back to Google Guru. If you haven't joined us before, Google Guru is an informational video series where we'll teach you how to do everything from basic to advanced tasks in the world of Google Apps. Today we're going to talk about building a quote builder in Google Spreadsheets. You can see in my spreadsheet right here, I've got two tabs, product listing and quote. In the product listing tab, we have all the information about the products that we're selling. The name of the item, from assorted chips and dips to bean and cheese nachos, beef tenderloin, etc. Price of each of those products. Is it taxable or non-taxable? Their service fee? And what's the type of product? Then in the far left column, column A, we have purchased, question mark. And then we have X's next to all the products that we want to purchase for this order. So now we'll head on over to the quote tab and you can see up top there's some information about the event, um, who's generating the quote, the customer, the event name, and the coordinator. All that stuff is going to be manually filled in. What's dynamically filled in from the product listing tab is all of this right here in the table. Now you can see for the first item we're doing um, a VLOOKUP back to the table to see you know where's an X in the table. And um, if you can't read the specific formula, don't worry about it because I've actually provided the link to the spreadsheet um, below this video. So you can see we're looking up for the first X in the list. Then the unit price is going to check against the second column where it says assorted chips and dips here and say, give me the price for assorted chips and dips on the product listing tab. Quantity is entered manually, and then the total is calculated by multiplying unit price by quantity. So then for the second item, it gets a little bit trickier. We, we want to look for the second X in the list. Um, and again, don't worry about copying down the formula. Just uh, click on the link below this video to open the spreadsheet. Third item is similar, and if you want to do more items, you can just continue copying that formula into the cells below it. So if I want to add another item, let's say, let's add some beer. Put an X next to that, and all of a sudden you see beer right here because I already had the formula entered in. Let's add one more, chicken chipotle. And there you go. And there's a unit price for one, so let's say I want two of these and the total is going to be 47.90. Now to total everything up, we have subtotal, service charge, tax, and the grand total. Um, less deposit and prepayments are going to be manually entered, and then your total is going to be calculated off of all that. So uh, this is a pretty cool way to use Google Spreadsheets. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, you can find more videos at googleguru.com. Thanks.